going to the Philippines under 40. Somebody brought this up yesterday. I have to admit, I would highly recommend it. You know I'm highly recommended. Even um, there's a few of the people I know, funny enough, that have been in Venezuela. Uh, there's another guy here that's doing the same. They, they do kite surfing. Well, Philippines is great for kite surfing as well. The Philippines can offer a lot of opportunities there. And personally, I'm not a fan of places like Boracay. I'm not for the whole tourist thing. I'd rather um, people went and experienced the culture, experienced the, the contrasts of things in life that often can set you up for a better future. But also I find that if, if you're younger, you often have a lot of stuff that is not relevant, that you're making relevant because it's being made relevant to you. In the sense that you could dismiss 90% of it if you could recognize half of it was just absolute garbage or for the benefit of state or whatever. Um, but it comes from actually spending a bit of time outside the, the Western bubble. I mean, for example, when people tell me about the news and stuff in the UK, um, I remember in the Philippines, I'm thinking, I haven't seen a news report in a year. I hadn't heard of half the stuff they were talking about because it wasn't relevant. You know, my, my family were messing me with some of that was relevant, but a lot of the stuff that did you know about that? It's like, no, but it wasn't relevant anyway. Did it affect me? No, not at all. Um, but I do think this is why if you're younger, it's important to take the life experiences, do a bit of traveling, and then get ahead. Once you're ahead, you know, in the sense that you can go, well, I don't need um, an Armani suit for, for a wedding, for example. A hundred pound one from Bloody Argos will do, um, unless you actually want an Armani suit in the sense that, I mean, for myself, I prefer more expensive suits because I wear them a lot more but if you're going to a wedding or a funeral I throw them in the bin afterwards um, but the, the point being is you recognize where you're wasting money you're recognizing how things are manipulated you recognize social media's manipulation you recognize how you're constantly pulled into a lot of garbage but also when you go to the Philippines you'll also recognize that the world can be very different because the contrast is so in your face. Um, to the point that you come out a better person because you can't be so easily manipulated anymore. You also are very likely to be more confident and self-aware. Self um, and it's those sort of reasons I would recommend going to the Philippines under 40 because you can come out the other end being more confident which also means that if you decide to go down a career path whether, even if you never travel again you're going to have something that you took away from the Philippines in the sense that you are um, in a much better position. You're going to get confidence from the people around you in the Philippines. You'll, you'll find that women hit on you all the time. You will find that people will listen to you a lot more than they would normally in the West, especially if you're in your 20s or something. In the West, hardly anybody listens to you because um, you're still too young. Because that's how they, they look and define everything. I mean, I think, I mean, have a look at Kento, for example. Ken, Kento only did four days at high school because he went and took the exam, passed the exam, and that was him finished because he didn't like it. Um, so he finished high school in four days, just took the exams. Um, but the, the point being is, in the UK environment especially, you're seen as inferior because you haven't gained any knowledge, yet they have no idea what your knowledge is anyway. But I do find if you travel a bit more, you've already done something a lot of people wouldn't have done, which also puts you in a different set, you know, in the sense that you've traveled more. And when people say, oh, he's just come back from the Philippines, oh, he's just come back from here, they, they recognize that you've lived abroad because it's something a lot of people think about but never do but it also gives you a position where people go what is it like and now you've opened up a conversation where somebody's actually asking you for advice or information rather than seeing you as the new um the new mechanic or something or the new um engineer or the new office staff or whatever you're already doing something that they wish they had done which gets an engagement going which gives it gives you an opportunity to prove yourself in a better way as well. Because um, you're going from the office new boy or whatever to now being somebody that actually knows something they don't. And if you get that relayed right and it works well, 
then people are confident in you. They actually trust you. And the fact is, you, you're you're giving them a better, stronger persona about yourself than the one they expect. Um, and I think that actually matures a lot of people as well in the, in many ways because in the Philippines, nobody's going to look after you. And I do find it very strange when people expect embassies to bail them out for stupidity. Um, in the sense that the embassies are there for trade. They're not there for you and me. They are there for trade. That's their prime motivation. It's not there to look after a drunken Brit or a violent American or whatever. They're there to look after trade. And so it grows you and you go back a lot more confident, but also your perspective has changed. You're looking at things from a very, very different viewpoint. Maybe you're, you're now set up for your second trip. Maybe you're now focused on getting in a position where you can do that full time. Maybe you just go back and think, I had a wonderful time and I'm just gonna go off to university and then just carry on with my day-to-day -day life. But at the same time, you took those experiences and will use them for your benefit. But ultimately, you've taken something away that is of high value. And that's the important bit, is actually coming out the other end with something that is better than you'll ever get on the training course. Don't matter what the training course is. The stuff you take away from this, good and bad, will change and mold you into a better person. And that's why I do recommend it. And if you go, you know, if you're at university and think, I'm going to have a gap year, Go and experience it. Do do like three, four months in the Philippines, then then decide to do Thailand, Vietnam, whatever. Do your own thing. But the whole point is, travel will actually open a lot of doors for you in the future and mature you in many ways. Thanks for watching.